Let's try to solve this problem here. Oxygen has a molar mass of 32 gram per mole at temperature of 297 Kelvin. So they give you here the molar mass of the oxygen. So I believe it's O2 that we are talking about here. So molar mass in our syllabus, it's represented as capital M. So our capital M here is equal to 32 gram per mole. Okay, 32 gram here, it's a unit that we usually use in chemistry for molar mass, but because it's in physics, we have to change everything to be an SI unit. So let's do some unit conversion here. It's 32 gram for every one mole of gas. So we are going to replace this gram here by putting it on the opposite side of the fraction, then replace it with kg. So one kg is equivalent to 1000 gram. So from here, you, are, you can know that it's 32.0 times 10 to the power of negative 3 gram gram cancel. You are left with kg per mole. Okay, so this is the molar mass in SI unit at temperature of 297 Kelvin. So the temperature is given to you in a unit of Kelvin. So that's the right unit to be in for temperature. If you get it in degrees Celsius, please make sure you convert it into uh, Kelvin for our calculation here. Okay, so what does the question ask for? The question asks for the root mean square speed of an oxygen molecule. So on average, uh, not on average, overall, if you want to represent the speed of the oxygen molecules in the gas system, how uh, what kind of value would be a good representation of the speed of the oxygen molecule? That's the idea of root mean square speed. A value that represents the speed of the oxygen molecules in the gas system. Okay, so uh, we can come back to our rectangle that we have been discussing for quite some time. So uh, the rectangle mind map here relates between pressure with the root mean square speed. Besides that, it also relates pressure with the translational kinetic energy. And lastly, it relates it to temperature as well. Okay. So right now, you can see that PV, uh, for this situation here, they give you the temperature. So this is on the left, at the right bottom corner of our mind map over here, temperature. Then we are going to relate it to root mean square speed of the oxygen molecule. Root mean square speed, so this is VRMS. Okay, so we are looking at this side of the rectangle over here. This side of the rectangle, I believe you are aware that there's two equations available. Why is VRMS is equals to square root of 3RT over the molar mass big M. There's also another equation which is VRMS is equals to 3KT. That's the per molecule version. The molecule version, it's mass of one single molecule. So there's two equations to pick from. For here, we are going to pick the molar mass version. So this is a molar case. Uh, we are going to take the molar equation. So for question A, we can solve it using VRMS is equals to 3RT over the molar mass capital M. So it's 3, your molar mass is 8.31, the temperature is 297 Kelvin. Then your molar mass here can be converted into SI unit, so it's 32.0 times 10 to the power negative 3. So through this calculation here, I believe you are able to get an answer of 481.02 meter per second. Okay, so that's for your root mean square speed. Let's follow through with the next question. The next question asks for the pressure of the oxygen if the density is 1.43 kg per meter cube at that temperature. So they're asking for pressure. In this rectangle over here, pressure is on the left top corner. So right now we have already moved to this side of the rectangle, which is the top top part of the rectangle. So again, there's two equations available to be picked. One is PV is equals to one over three and M VRMS square. Another one will be P is equals to one over three rho VRMS square. So for this equation, for this situation, I believe the clear pick will be the second equation because you are given the uh, density of the gas system over here. So the density of the oxygen gas in this situation is 1.43 kg per meter cube. So we'll be using the second equation. Well, it's just substitution left actually. P is equal to 1 over 3 rho VRMS square. So the pressure is what we want to find. So we leave it like this. So the rho is the density which is 1.43 kg per meter cube. Then you have your VRMS. Your VRMS is obtained from question A to be 
then you have square. Okay, so if you do your substitution, put it into your calculator, I believe you get pressure of 1.10 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. Okay, so this will be the pressure of the oxygen gas in this system. So um, it's a very simple question, but it highlights how you utilize this rectangle mind map that we have discussed in the, in the explanation video. So it basically relates between the macroscopic value, which is P and T, related with microscopic properties, which are the root mean square speed and the translation of kinetic energy. So through this rectangle uh, mind map here, you are able to check which side are you going to focus on. And from there, you pick the relevant equation to be used. So that's it for this question.